what is going on everybody today i want to be giving you a tutorial on how to make your own custom thumbnails now um keep in mind that this tutorial is not is only for people who are, who are partners who are maybe partners that are new and maybe they don't have enough money or they don't want to buy photoshop like maybe it's too expensive for them so i'm going to sh give be showing you how to make your own custom thumbnails that is using a program it's a free alternative to photoshop and it is amazing now it's really great and it just gets the job done really 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 well if any of you watch my other videos then you'll know that uh there's only one video that i didn't use for uh paint this program on i used a website pixeler which is a an online photo editor and it's the my favorite server review thing but yeah the rest are made with this program and this program you can probably see right here paint.net yeah pro some of you probably already know this some of you probably don't if you know photoshop it's kind of similar kind of not but yeah whole, whole has the whole layers dealio thing and background so you probably get the gist of it once uh, once you this video now let's start up paint.net and I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video. It's going to be cool. It's like making a thumbnail for the own video. And you'll see it. So if I mess up on this th thumbnail. I'm going to have to restart the whole video. And start again. Or vice versa. If I mess up on this video. Then I'll have to m delete the thumbnail. And make the video all over again. Let's, let's hope I don't do that. Anyways. First thing you want to do. Is you want to make the thumbnail 720p. Because that's what that's what I like to do. The thumbnail. That That's a perfect size so the width shall be will be should be 1280 the height 720 don't worry this is these are the right dimensions the height is 720 the width is 1280 hit okay now the very first thing you want to do is wait if you go into the the magnifying glass just right click and it'll zoom out a bit is make a picture for the background. You don't want to add text to the background. You just want to add the picture to the background so you can have different layers for different things. So I'm going to make how to make custom thumbnails. I sh I already have a picture that I want to add, and it's somewhere here. It's in my download. It's starry sky picture. If I can write night sky dot j. I'm gonna go into it. You need to make sure the picture is the it's the biggest format first and you right click and just hit you copy. You hit copy. Alright. Connect it out of these. And just go to control V on here. And then expand it so it'll fit. And it might be a bit blurry actually. Yeah, wait a sec, let me delete this because I want it to be about start off big so it won't be blurry. Oh yeah, the first thing I forgot to tell you is go into rectangle select. When it's white, like, wait, let me go here. When it's like this, you want to go to rectangle select. Select everything and hit delete to make everything transparent first. So let me go on to Google Images. And I'm going to go and get the picture of the night sky. It's the first one that came up anyways. Night sky. Um, this one you have to go into it you click on it and you go to view original image it'll be huge then you right click and hit copy image go back here and then you go to control V and it will say this the image being pasted larger th than the actual canvas size you want to keep the canvas size here make sure you hit the middle keep canvas size and the picture will be bigger but this is perfect like uh, yeah this is really good so it's not as blurry as when it's too small and you have to expand it. And then the pixels will get it'll get more pixelated. But for this one, it'll be better because you're shrinking it. And it's the original resolution. So once you've got your background now, you can you have your background now you can add your finally you can finally add your text. But what I like to do is I don't want the text to be like with the background. I want the text to to look that it's over the background, so I want to add a blur to the background. 
Oh man, I've said background so many times. I want to add a blur to this picture that's in the background layer. So go to effects. You want to go to blurs. Then this blur is the best. I don't know how to pronounce it. Go Shan blur. Whatever. And then you up the radius. And then it'll oh, a little bit too much blur. Keep it at six. And you can snudge it up like that. Um, But for this one, you can't even see the starry sky. Make a small blur, like five, six. That's better. It will render, and now it's got its blur. Now you want to add another layer. You want to add text to this layer, unless you want to add another picture. But uh, that'll be the last layer. You want to change the font, and I like the font to be. Let's do impact. Alright, make it in the middle, put it, you want to also change the, I'll make it 144, make it huge, and for this one I want to make the color, let's see, make it green, I want to just put a big fat, I'll make it bold, this one shall be bold, it's going to be, oops, tutorial, <laughs> gonna say tutorial yeah I'll make it a bit smaller actually nah I'll make it at 144 that's good enough and I want to add an effect to it it just looks really bad like this so you go to effects and I don't I don't want to repeat the blur like what's cool about Patreon is you can repeat the last effect that you did so you don't have to redo everything perfectly I'm gonna add a glow for this one. Go to photo, you go to glow, and when you hit glow, it'll make the thing like test glow. It's like neon green now. If, it, uh, if you just put down the brightness and make the contrast and everything bigger. Oh no, it didn't change anything. There we go. Make it at. Oops, what? What? There we go. Just hit OK. OK. And I also want to add this other cool effect. No, actually, I'll add the for. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to cough. I'm going to. There's this other effect that's called. It's called crystallize, where you crystallize the edges to make it look cool. But I'm going to add this for this text. Now, once I'm done with this, I can rectangle so. Yeah. I can rectangle select something else, so we'll select, won't select everything again. I'm going to add another text, and I'll make it a different color than green. Green and red. Christmassy. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, right. No. I'll make it 96. I'll make it, I'll do this. How to, oops, sorry, I want to make every... And capitalize to ma uh, make custom and then I'll hit enter thumbnails and there's this effect that I want to add it's uh, I want to just hit repeat glow first oopsies wait let me go back you need to use the magic wand and you want to make sure the flood mode is on con Contiguous, hold shift and click on one of the letters. It will select the whole thing. And you want to go to effects, repeat glow to make it the same glow. But I also want to add this, this to crystallize it. You crystallize the edges so it will look cool. Bring it down to six. Hit OK. Now, once you've. It will look like this. How to make custom thumbnails. Now, there's free space at the bottom, but I saved that space f to add a picture of paint.net so they know what program I'm using. So I'm going to add another layer, and I already have a, a picture of paint.net downloaded, so I just need to copy it. It is right here. Hit copy, paint.net logo, of course you go to control, make sure layer 3 is selected right here and it's checked you go to control v oh i need to click into control v 
Now it will add this picture of paint.net. But I'm not done with it yet. As you can see, it looks a bit weird with if it's like there's this white, if the white um, background of paint.net is around it. So I want to delete that. Here's what to do you go to Magic Wand, make sure the flood mode is still contiguous. You want to click, you want to click on the white part, and it will only select the white part. But you have to be on contiguous for this to work. You don't hold shift, you just click on it left click on the white part and hit delete now you've perfectly deleted the white part of course you need to go and paint on and the p delete that and the a delete that and in this e if you want you can delete this blue and green and red but i i don't want to because it looks cool with it so now you once you've got this i'm going to add another effect to paint.net the actual photo and I'm gonna add a glow now I don't want it to be too bright because then you can't see and the radius bring it down a bit yeah wait let me bring this down that looks good you have to contrast all that yeah yeah it just hit okay now I've got my perfect thumbnail now, uh, what you want to do is flatten each layer. So you want to go to make sure the top layer is selected. Go to this one, merge layer down, and then merge layer down again. Now this is all one thumbnail. Now, next thing you want to do is save it because this is perfect. Now you're gonna add this to your YouTube video. So you want to go to File, Save As. And save it if you're perfect. If you're done with it, you don't want. You're not gonna add anything to it later. Unlike a like, let's say a let's play where you want to change the number of the episode each time. If you're just gonna keep this and you're not gonna use it anymore, just for this one video, you're gonna make it a PNG to make it good, better quality. And you want to name it to custom, custom thumbnails tutorial. Thumbnail. That's what right now. Thumbnail. And just hit save. Save it. I I have a folder dedicated to just YouTube extras, which is all my thumbnails, all my YouTube pictures, and my and my intro. I'm just gonna go hit save. And you don't need to mess with any with any of this because it looks good anyways. And this is the file size. It's. F 568 gigabytes and gigabytes is smaller than megabytes so this is a perfect size you said okay and now it's saved you since you've saved it you can just exit out of that and if you go open up your your youtube extras and look at your thumbnail there it is right there now once you've got your perfect thumbnail you're ready to put it on to your youtube video thank you guys all for watching and that was that vi this video and I hope this video helped you a lot and please comment rate and subscribe for more tutorials and stuff and let's plays like this as you can see I, I play minecraft and I do have let's plays on my channel so maybe you want you might want to go check that out thank you guys for watching and this was how to make some thumbnails using paint.net peace out I'll see you in the next video